Hey guys, for this stage what you're going to need is four sensor reactors. Just place one at the top directly onto the atmospheric pump and one at the bottom directly onto the atmospheric pump. Make sure it's connected to the bottom of both of them. Then you want to take your pipe from the bottom half and make it go down a little bit. This is just to slow down the atoms when they're traveling through the pipes. So when it reaches the next one it's not like uh, causing a blockage in the pipeline. Then take the top pipe and connect it to the top half of the second sensor reactor. Then connect the top pipe to the top half of your last sensor reactor and the bottom half of the bottom sensor reactor to the bottom half of the top reactor. And then connect the top half of this reactor up to the cargo freighter. Then connect the bottom half to the bottom cargo freighter and the top half of this sensor reactor up to your recycler. Okay, now double click on the first sensor reactor at the top. And we'll start off the red line so it goes off to the right for an NB, then to the right for a grab slash drop. Then to the right for a drop which goes up to a negative bond and to the left or a negative bond and to the left or a sink. And then back down into the NB. But you've also got the optional N, so if, if an N atom shows up, which is your branch, it goes up and to the right to a drop, then down to a negative bond and down to a negative bond and then back along the line. For the blue line it goes up to an O branch and then up to an N branch, there's not really a set path for this one. So you kind of got your arrows everywhere along here. Uh, the O branch goes off to the right which goes to a sink and then down to an out and then right and up to a drop which is over top of bonders. And then left to a grab and left to an out which is a circular kind of out. And then left and back up. And the N path goes to the right to a sink up to a fork out to the right and down to a drop which is on top of a bonders and to the left to a grab and left to an out which is the fork out and then down and back into the line. Okay, for our second top reactor we start off the blue line which goes to the right for an NB then to the right for a grab, to the right to a drop which is on top of your bonders then you go up and to the left for an NB and down to the sink to the right to a positive bond, to the right and up to a drop then up and left and back into B. For the red line you go left to an N A, then down to a grab, then right and down and right to drop, which are the top of your bonders, then down to sink, left to an N B, left to a grab, up and right to a bond, which is positive, right to a counterclockwise rotation, then right to drop, up to a fork out, and up and back into start. For your third sensor reactor, you just got the red line, the blue line doesn't really matter for this one. So you go right and then up to drop, left to an out, which is the fork out, left to an NB, left to an NA, then left to a positive bond, and down to grab, and back into start, and then you've got the optional NA, which goes down and to the right to a drop, and up to an out, which is a circle out, and then back up into the normal path. For your bottom sensor reactor, you've got your red line, which goes start, down to NB, down to grab, right to a counterclockwise rotation, right to a sink, Right and up to a drop, left to a negative bond, left to a circular out, left to a fork out, left to a sink and back into NB. And then you got your blue line which goes left to a drop, left to a negative bond, left to an out fork, left to a circular out, left to a sink, left to an NB, down to a grab, uh, right to a counterclockwise rotation, then right to a sink, then right and back up to drop, then left and down to drop which then would connect back up with your line and you've also got the optional NA which is over top of a sensor which is pointing upwards and you've got your bonders there as well. Okay.